Now, unfortunately, there are many Christians who have the idea that this world does not matter. Uh, they believe that uh, we as Christians will go off to a far-off afterlife somewhere and not be around this world, and we will be in, in a distant place, and that what happens to this world while we're here does not matter. Well, I believe that the Scripture teaches us something very different. You know, this is God's world that God created in Genesis, and God said that the world was good. But the New Testament also teaches us that God, in, in John, uh, we are taught that God so loved the world that God sent His Son, that the world through Him might be saved. It doesn't say this people might be saved, that God's creation might be saved. Paul writes in um, Colossians, the first chapter says, all things have been created through Him and for Him, speaking about Jesus uh, as far as the resurrection. Also, it says in Romans about it talks about the uh, the groans of uh, pre-birth groans, talking about the whole earth awaiting the uh, creation, waiting the second coming of Jesus. So there's many scriptures regard uh, give the idea that the second coming is going to be about the salvation of the world. Now, Jesus' cru uh, crucifixion and resurrection is not just for the salvation of people, but for the salvation of the earth itself, the salvation of God's creation in this world. So uh, when Jesus comes again, his creation will not be in some far, uh, his kingdom will not be in some far off place. The Bible teaches us that God's new kingdom was going to be on this world. The new creation will be on this world. So what happens to this world and how we treat this world matters. This week, we uh, Americans are very fortunate to be able to uh, worship uh, and have thanksgiving for the uh, cel and worship and thanks uh, the celebration of Thanksgiving Day this coming Thursday, and uh, as Chris uh, Christians and as Americans, we should be grateful not just for our families and not just for our our possessions, although those are very uh, things we should be grateful for and are very important. But we need to be grateful and give thanksgiving for all the blessings given to us by God, including this earth, including God's creation, and be thankful for God's great earth. And for that, we can say, thanks be to God. Hallelujah.